Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Rack on our 2022 Honda CRV. This is going to be a platform style bike rack holding the bike in these trays and primarily by the frame. We've got our cradle right here with a strap run around the frame to hold it in place. That cradle will rotate 360 degrees. Now because it makes frame contact, we do want to avoid carbon frame bikes. But because that cradle rotates and moves around, slides up and down the mast, it will work well for alternative frame bikes and kids' bikes, as opposed to something that has a frame hook. Now, with that, you also want to keep in mind it has a 35-pound weight capacity per bike, so just make sure you're staying within those limits. Otherwise, it's going to hold the bike pretty well here. Our two secondary points of contact are going to be these straps down on each wheel, pulling the bike down and in. Now I'll go ahead and get the bike unloaded right now, starting with those secondary points of contact, pressing in that gray button and pulling out the strap. This bike rack is more of an entry level platform style rack, so it is lacking some features like the tilting away with bikes loaded. We'll do the cradle up here, same thing with the strap and the button, and then you can lift this over that mast and away. Because that mast is very short, it's not too much of an obstacle, but it is still somewhat in the way. And I'll set this to the side. Now, if you're looking for a platform rack that can tilt away with the bikes loaded to give you hatch access, maybe check out the Swagman XTC2 Tilt. It's another pretty entry-level platform rack that will have that frame hook, but it does tilt away. And then I always like to replace all but one of these straps because you can fold this mask down, loosening up this hand knob on the side, flipping this plate back, and tilting the mask down. I like to run one of these straps around it and secure it in place to hold that mask down and keep it secured. With it like this, now we can get access to the hatch of our vehicle, where it's in this flat and out of the way position. So if you need to get something out of the back or sit down and change your shoes before or after a ride, you can. You just have to make sure that the bikes are unloaded. Now with this, I wanna get some measurements, starting with our ground clearance. We are gonna be in a sort of reverse U shape here. And at the lowest point, it's gonna be giving us 16 inches of ground clearance, which with the good rise in the shank there, I think is gonna be just fine. Overall distance added to the back. It is going to be sticking out 26 inches, which is pretty close. It doesn't stick out near as far as some other options do, but we can save some space when bikes are unloaded. If we wanna leave this in the hitch so it's ready to go for next time, we can undo this threaded hand knob near the hitch, fold this up, and reinsert it through the newly aligned holes. Now, there will be a clip on the other side of that hand knob. Ours has just gotten lost with it being down in the shop for so long. So you thread that in, tighten it down, and re-secure that clip on the other side for added security. I like that it's threaded because it really stabilizes the pivot point here. And this new distance added is going to be only 13 and a half inches, so it's a lot more condensed this way. Down at the hitch, you can see it's working in our, inch, our two inch by two inch receiver tube with that included adapter, but it will also work with inch and a quarter hitch. And it is included with an anti-rattle bolt that does lock up. So it's secured in our hitch and it's solid there too. Everything is very solid here with little to no movement. And overall, if you're looking for an entry level platform rack, this is a great option. Like I mentioned before, if you want that tilting feature, check out the Swagman option we mentioned. Otherwise, it's gonna be just fine. I like that it folds up against the vehicle, and I like that it's pretty easy to load and unload. That mast, those cradles operate independently, and it's not too tall, so loading your bike is pretty simple. Thanks for watching.